The family of an 11 year old girl is suing the operators of a Wendy's restaurant in Jenison, claiming she suffered kidney failure and other debilitating health conditions after eating a meal contaminated with E. coli bacteria. Now, the restaurant in question denies that it failed to uphold high standards of food safety. August 2022. She had left sided paralysis. She was clinging to her life. Aspen Lampfers. She lost consciousness for a long period of time. She suffered from seizures. Was rushed to the hospital. Undergoing pretty much constant dialysis. Uh, she had left sided paralysis. Before deteriorating into a nonverbal state, she cried out, Why am I so sick? Why? And it's so bad. This according to a lawsuit filed last week on behalf of the girl's family. Right when you've got those severe abdominal cramps and the diarrhea, um, you, you know, you sort of think, okay, well, that, yeah, something's not right. They claim she got a stack infection from eating a meal tainted with E. coli from the Wendy's on Port Sheldon in Jenison two weeks earlier. This Wendy's location in Jenison on Port Sheldon Road was identified as a particular source of uh, numerous severe infections. Aspen's condition. Her blood sugars fluctuate so wildly. Got worse. They're having a hard time figuring out what medications are going to be best to help her manage her blood sugars. And she's got a, a brain injury. The claim goes on to say she began suffering seizures, then diagnosed with stage three kidney failure. There's very little doubt uh, as to where Aspen picked up this infection. The Ottawa County Health Department conducted an inspection of that Wendy's in July 2022. Conditions were deemed so unsatisfactory that it led to a temporary closure. Imminent health dangers to the public must be corrected prior to reopening, the report read. These health inspection reports from both before and after Aspen ate there at the Wendy's indicate a serious lack of the most basic food safety practices. Fox 17 reached out to Meritage Hospitality, the operators of the Wendy's on Port Sheldon, who said in a statement, we take the health and safety of our customers very seriously. We deny any wrongdoing or failure of our food safety practices in these cases. We cannot provide further comment in light of the open litigation. And when you look at their lack of proper food safety practices and hygiene, it's absolutely the case that there would have been cross-contamination and that must have been how she got sick. According to the CDC, people from six different states, including Michigan, reported E. coli infections after eating at different Wendy's restaurants in summer 2022. The state of Michigan said as of August 2022, they had located 43 confirmed cases of E. coli infection. This particular outbreak was traced from the lettuce supplier to these Wendy's stores in the Midwest. Aspen's family is suing for $20 million, alleging she has now been diagnosed with diabetes, a seizure disorder, and potentially permanent brain damage. Past medical bills, future medical expenses, and expected loss of earning capacity uh, over the course of her lifetime. Uh, and and then, you know, the, the tremendous pain, fear, emotional suffering that she has and will continue to experience for the rest of her life more than justifies the amount that uh, we are demanding in the suit. A majority of the people who reported E. coli infections after eating at a Wendy's restaurant said they ate something with romaine lettuce on it. The 11-year-old girl in question in this lawsuit says she did not eat any lettuce the day she visited.